I don't know if he was trying to draw a pig as in a policeman and that's what it was because <laughs> they were writing a, the name of a local policeman on there as well I don't even know what was going on but that was the only design that we had to go on and it worked out fine sat down to check my emails like I normally do and for some reason I decided to check in my spam and luckily I did because there was a message from Nicole from United Living asking me if doing a project as part of a regeneration in Pill would be something I'd be interested in. So of course I jumped at the chance, I met with Nicole and we came up with a project plan to do an engagement event, three workshops and a two days painting a community mural. Over the next few weeks I managed to get in contact with a guy called Asher who actually lives and has always lived in Pill. Consumer Smith, another artist who's from Newport also painted with us and I took two artists with me from Cardiff, Resch and Zilch. But yeah, so we painted a mural together and ended up that there was uh, some young people from the local area who also joined in. One of the youth workers painted with us. There was a lady who had, I think, her, her grandson or her son with her. They painted with us. Busher hung out with us for the whole day. Um, yeah, we met some of the characters from the local area. A couple of weeks later, I did three workshops. Uh, the first workshop was an introduction to using spray paint to, to the fact that we were going to be doing another mural. The second workshop was not quite so successful. It was the timing. The timing was really bad, but we didn't give up. We just um, waited it out and The third workshop was complete contrast to that one. Um, it was a real insight into the dynamics of that community. Yeah, it was really, really special. Got a finny fin fin. Yeah, yeah man. Yo, yo. Oh, go on, Cass. Shaba! <laughs> gang, gang. Gang, gang. Show me the spray paint again, Nip. Show me that can again. A little bit of Rudy on it as well, you know? Yeah, yeah Shab. When you're working in a community like that, you've just got to trust that people will come together and do something and whatever they do is what was meant to happen. For me, it was really good working in that way and having the freedom to... That is really the first project that I've had the freedom to work in that way without having to give in designs, without having to prove that the people that are going to do it are trustworthy. Um, and yeah, just just being fully trusted to do something. Uh, it was it was great. It was really liberating. The two days of painting the community mural, yeah, the mural speaks for itself. Really, there's names of a lot of people 
from the area and those people are bring back their friends and family to show them what they have done and they're proud of what they've created. So we got this white spray paint and we're just gonna put like highlights. A highlight like that on it. Then we're gonna do a stop. Like that. And we're gonna go like that <laughs> in the middle. And then do you Okay, let's go over there. Yeah.